Were you just in an accident, more specifically rear-ended? If you're feeling mild to moderate back pain, keep watching to see some stretches and exercises that you can do to help alleviate that pain. Let's go. First and foremost, disclaimer. I am not a professional or a doctor. Please make sure that you are speaking to your physician and that you are taking the necessary steps. I made sure to have an x-ray and an MRI to make sure that I don't have any extreme damage that these stretches or exercises could potentially harm you further. Ready? Let's do this. I am using the J-Flex bar. You can attach dumbbells to it, but I'm just gonna use this bar, it's five pounds, as a warm up. So I'm just gonna sit on a flat bench. I'm gonna make sure that I'm connected to my breathing. So I'm gonna inhale, big deep breath in, back body expansion, pelvic floor is expanded, diaphragm is expanded, and we're gonna go down, chest bench, and then we are going to start with the pelvic floor, exhale, up. let's do that one more time slower. Good, a few more times. You can do this at your own pace, make sure that you're working with your breath and not against it. And what this is doing is really stretching out your entire spine and strengthening the area around the spine so that your body doesn't start to overcompensate and that those discs or whatever pain that you are feeling actually start to hurt a little bit more. So start with moderate weight. You can even do this without a bar starting out and then you can increase as that time goes. Good, let's move on. Okay, same, so we are gonna do lightweight here. Um, I am gonna use a little bit um, of an elevated platform, but the easier it is obviously is no platform. So start low and then kind of gradually set yourself up. So I'm gonna get on this and then you are gonna start with each individual part of your spine. So you are gonna slowly do one part at a time. So I'm gonna do neck, thoracic, slowly move to the lumbar and then go down. I'm actually gonna let my hands hang on this. So again, start with neck. You really want this to be slow and controlled. And then again, start with your lumbar, move up to your thoracic, into your neck, and come all the way up. Again. This takes a lot of mind-muscle connection. So your lumbar is your lower part. Your actual spine is broken up into three different sections. Your lower back is your lumbar, moving up into the middle part of your back, which is like in between your shoulder blades, that's your thoracic. And then you have your neck, I believe it's cervical, cervical part of your the spine. And the goal is to be able to go wrist past your ankles, which is why the elevated step helps. But if you're not there yet, no worries. Just slow and smooth is key here. So I actually did an MRI and found out that I have four herniated discs in my neck and three in my thoracic. So I have been really focusing on strengthening that area, again, so that my body doesn't overcompensate and cause more pain or hurt more than it needs to be. So when you strengthen the areas around it, um, you take that pressure off of the discs itself. So the disc itself isn't actually improving or getting better, but you are strengthening the areas around it so that you're not overcompensating in those areas. So these exercises have helped me quite a bit, but it is a journey and it will take time. And then as you get stronger and stronger, you can start increasing pain. So I am a big fan of Knees Over Toes Guy, the ATG system that he has. So there's actually a back standards program that he offers, and these are all exercises within those back standards. So once you see that you start getting stronger, then a certain percentage of your body weight for what you should be doing is when you start reaching those standards. I am not quite there yet. It's okay if you're not, you can keep working up to it. These are very easy to do every single day and slowly gain that strength and you'll be at those standards before you know it. Some exercises you want to avoid are what you would think just laying down on your back, bringing your knees to your chest and kind of crunching that. If you're having back pain, you want to avoid that because that's actually just putting more tension on your spine in those areas and it's definitely not gonna help. It might just give you mild relief right away, but over time it's actually putting more harm and pressure um, on those areas than you should be. Another one that we are going to dive into here, now this exercise has so many benefits for so many different areas of your body, but this does help um, as well with some mild back pain. So we are going to do the ATG split squat. So you are going to go into a deep lunge and you want your knee as far over as your toes as possible. Again, you want to be in tune with your breathing here, so you're going to take a big inhale. 
nail at the top and then going to the bottom and then whenever you're doing your exertion, you're going to exhale. So you're connecting with the pelvic floor. against it or you're actually not engaging that, that again your body's going to be overcompensated. Your transverse abdominis is basically the corset that covers this whole area. So that actually includes your back strength, core strength, pretty much everything right here is going to help you stabilize. So make sure that you're really working on those. There's a lot of breathing exercises that you can do as well. I was never able to do that, but then I saw someone explain it so perfectly where basically exertion is exhale. So I used to think I'm getting ready for a big move, that's when I'm exhaling to brace myself, but it's actually when you're not doing the movement, you're just going down into it and then the exertion is coming up, so that's when you need to tighten your core. So hopefully that helps you too. That was really what made me be able to understand working with your breath. Okay, so those are some exercises that you can do. Some stretches, cat-cow is really good. Um, so we'll go into that. Again, this is really important to move with your breath. I'm gonna start in tabletop, big belly breath, back expansion at the bottom. part of our spine, uh, one vertebrae at a time. We can do that also while in tabletop. So I'm gonna start with my neck, round up, and then start with my lumbar, moving to my thoracic, up and just If you're also dealing with herniated discs or back pain, be an advocate for yourself. There's a lot of doctors out there that are willing to just throw pain management tools at it, not actually correct the problem, but you can strengthen your body to where you don't need any of that. And you'll feel better than before. It will take time though, so be patient with yourself and trust the process. do a couple controlled articular rotations, CARs. Um, so I start with my neck, just kind of slowly. Rotate in one direction. Rotate in the other. Very slow, very controlled. for so long that you start to feel a little bit more loose, a little more buttery. It's great for joint health, mobility, strength. start. I will do more in-depth videos as I get my strength up and continue to improve my strength and mobility, especially in the areas that I am injured. And I hope that you enjoy this with me. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will try to be posting videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the health and wellness space. Thank you so much for watching.